from a financial market infrastructure perspective, there are two areas where we're seeing significant change. We're seeing a lot of change within the CSDs. So I've had a great privilege of working really closely with people like Euroclear and with other CSDs around the world to look at how do we prepare ourselves or how do they prepare themselves uh, for, the, for the digital financial market infrastructure that they need to provide uh, in order to service the needs of their customers. So tokenization is super important to them, not just because they want to be able to tokenize existing asset classes to make them more efficient, to make the registry uh, and, and the transfer of ownership more efficient, but also so we can um, accelerate some of the post-trade processes associated with securitized assets. Um, but also because actually CSDs are incredibly well positioned to uh, diversify their asset class coverage and to be able to basically service the needs of a number of other high quality digital assets. So what we're doing is we're working with them around things like CCIP, the transfer uh, between chains uh, safely of assets so that they can become ledger and chain agnostic. They don't have to worry about shackling themselves to any individual ledger or chain um, strategically, which is really important because I think that one of the gentlemen on the previous panel said we're going to see banks and financial institutions adopting potentially tens or hundreds of chains over the course of their life and so we have to be chain agnostic. And the other area where we're seeing a lot of interest in what we do uh, from a CSD perspective is, is around things like proof of reserve. So again, making sure that the assets that they are, um, that they are facilitating the tran transfer of are actually what they say they are and they're in the right place.